here we are. We're back. And there it is. What me and Caleb are calling the unicorn. Okay. The 6936 UPDDA40X Centennial. Um, all back on the track. Um, get you a little close up of this. This is an awesome locomotive. Mm -hmm. You can see like all the details. Um, even has the website there www.uprr.com uh, this is obviously modeled after the uh, uh, excursion service uh, 6936 mm -hmm. um, just really nice uh, details I know I said you know I don't I'm not a big fan of MTH uh, DCS system but their models are nice they do really nice uh, models um, there's the back, all the separately applied uh, steps or stair uh, hand, or going up to the top. And you got all your lift rings there at the top. There's one exhaust stack for the smoke unit. And you got your brake uh, vent or fans there, your uh, cooling fans, I should say, and your horn. And uh, you got like a lot of little signage on there and stuff i don't know if we can go read that but a little warning placards and that and there's the front uh exhaust stack yeah all the little lift rings those are all separately applied which is cool mm -hmm. strobe light which on ours is not operating yet but it will i'm, I'm confident I'll, I'll get that there's a little radio antenna at the top there in front of the strobe and you got your front of it and the cab's not really that detailed it's got a couple crew uh, figures in there as you can see uh, it's got all the windshield wiper uh, blades and that arms and blades separately applied the number boards there at the top it's got safety tread you got a real real chain there on the between the handrails, the walkway there. There's one on the front. Now electrical coupler. It's really nice. It's a really nice locomotive. I'm, I couldn't be happier. Um, big fuel tank on it. So yeah. You need that fuel tank, it's huge. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's a, there's some more signage there. Try to get the focus in. But yeah, the trucks are really nice, really really nicely done um just like i said couldn't be happier with it it's a it's a really beautiful locomotive uh really happy that we were able to uh get this cab number um this is what actually kick-started us into getting the uh the centennial uh and doing this project because we talked about it a lot if lino never came out with one uh, me and caleb kept saying well we can we'll just convert one you know Mm -hmm. Um, but the 6936, uh, the cab number rarely, rarely, rarely comes up for sale. And when it does, uh, man, the asking price is always really, really high. And, uh, I just got lucky on, uh, seeing this on eBay. It, you know, like I said, it was, it was a brand new cab. It was new old stock. Uh, I don't know what the story was. I don't know if it came from when they were closing and, they were selling selling off the extra uh parts I, I i don't i don't know but uh this individual had a lot of different uh cabs uh shells i should say of different locomotives for mth and i just happened to see this one and uh i was able to uh purchase it like i said it was brand new it was never mounted on a, a chassis so then that kind of just sparked us to uh try and find a, a suitable uh, uh chassis to mate this together and and do our little project and, and we had to wait wait quite a while to for the right one to come up but uh it did and uh, we were able to do it and uh this this project i think is you're gonna see here in a minute i think i think came out pretty good we're real happy with it don't you think yes this is an amazing looking engine mm -hmm. i think we did a really good job converting it. It did. It come out well. So, 
Uh, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to have Caleb start it up here in a second. Mm -hmm. um, and we're going to do a little comparison uh, with this and uh, our the original uh, sounds in that uh, from the uh, locomotive when we first purchased it before we did the conversion. Let you hear the differences, uh, how it sounds now compared to then. Uh, let us know what you think, if you think it's improved or not. Um, I think it sounds, well, you'll hear it. it I think it's it's really nice sounding. So, uh, And then Caleb's going to kind of do a little back and forth here uh, on our little spur uh, that we got here. Yeah. Um, and then uh, I think the next video we're going to do a, a run session with it. So yeah. um, I'd say go ahead and start her up, Caleb. All right. Caleb and turn on the smoke units. See how well they work. And there's the back one. And there's the front one. So yeah, they work pretty good. Yeah, they do. That thing's really, really pumping some smoke out there. So, all right. It definitely smells way better than what it did too. So you can go ahead and shut those off. All right, and I don't wanna, th those really smoke. And there's not, with the, with the uh, electric railroad uh, boards, they're just on or off. It's not like Legacy where you can kind of turn it low, medium, and high for the smoke output. So uh, I'm gonna kind of look to see if anyone uh, kind of figured out a different way of doing that where you can kind of control the volume of the smoke. If not, um, yeah, we'll only use the smoke for videos, because man, this thing, they really pours out the smoke, so, <laughs> and then having two smoke units, I mean, there's a lot of smoke, so, yeah. it's really cool looking, but kind of starts overwhelming the uh, train room pretty quickly, so, yeah. all right, well, Caleb, why don't you go ahead, uh, why don't you go uh, run it a little bit forward in reverse, and uh, let's kind of hear what it sounds like, the the prime mover sounds compared to the old one.
So there's a little taste of uh, what it sounds like uh, now uh, compared to the uh, original soundboard and that. So let us know what you think. Uh, we hope you uh, enjoyed this little process of converting uh, this monster of the rails here. This, man, it's, this diesel is amazing. It's so big. Um, I mean, these were the largest uh, diesels ever made, uh, if, I, if I remember correctly. They were the most powerful diesels ever made. I think they were like 6,900 horsepower or something like that. I mean, there's, it's literally two locomotives. That's right. In one. It's kind of like how they did with the big boys. The big boys are basically two two steam engines on on, a, on under one boiler, so... Uh, Union Pacific was always looking for the biggest, uh, most powerful locomotives, uh, and uh, they they came out with some really amazing uh, locomotives over the years. And uh, this one here is this one here is pretty amazing. So uh, we're real happy with it. Uh, let us know in the comments what you think about it. Uh, other than that, uh, stay tuned because uh, we're going to be doing uh, some epic run sessions with this locomotive. Uh, along with the other uh, Union Pacific uh, power that we have and again we're happy to have this on the layout and uh, on our roster and uh, happy that we can operate it uh, with TMCC and Legacy so uh, uh, there we go and um, yeah don't forget to like subscribe share all that good stuff smash the, the comment button like Caleb always says and all that good stuff right Right. And uh, follow us on Instagram. That's right here. And yeah, somewhere in there. And uh, yeah, other than that, I uh, hope everyone's doing good, staying safe. Uh, and that's it. Happy railroading.